Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This will be part three of my quarantine series. Um, today I am making a fish finder mount and a transducer mount. Um, so let's get started. So the items that you will need be a strainer for a shower and it come with this metal piece on it. There's two screws, I just took the metal piece off and you were left with this. And then this top cover here is a electrical box cover. So once I took this strainer off, I just glued this cover to the top of it. And that will be your main mount. And then you have a two inch to one inch bushing. You have a one inch plug. And then you will need a toilet bolt with a nut. And for this toilet bolt, it's extra long, so you're probably gonna have to cut it down. But this is where it goes. You take your plug and you drill a hole the width of the bolt, put it through there, put your nut on, and then you epoxy around the nut. But you want to make sure that you don't epoxy on top of the bolt because then it won't be able to screw. So that is the finished product, what it will look like. Again, you have to cut this down, epoxy, and there's your plug. Well, this is pretty simple. So you take your base here, glue your cover on, you take your bushing, two inch side into two inch, and you push it all the way in. And then you take your plug, and your plug goes in the bottom. I'm going to screw this all the way down so I don't bend my bolt. So I can hammer it all the way in. Just like so. Screw the bolt back out. And there you have the fish finder mount. And we'll put this aside and I'll show you how to do the transducer mount. Now, for your transducer mount, you're gonna want to make a gear track. And I'll post a link to that video down below. Once you have your gear track like this, it has the bolt in the end, like the one that we made for the fish finder. You're gonna take a one inch piece of one inch PVC. You're gonna need around 12 or 14 inch piece of half inch PVC and about a five inch piece of PVC. A half inch elbow. Uh, I made mine all one inch, the gear track one inch. So this is a one inch to half inch elbow. And then you're gonna need a T. And you're going to cut it to make this. Once you have your gear track made, again I'll post the video down below of how to make this. You're going to take your one inch piece, your two inch piece, and you're going to put it in the top of your gear track. And then you're going to take your one inch to half inch elbow and it goes on top of your gear track. Like this. Then you're going to take your five inch piece of PVC and it's going to go in the elbow.
Next you take your 90 degree and it's going to go just like that. Now you take your 12 inch, 12 to 14 inch PVC and it goes right there. Now you have your T that you cut and it's going to go to the end of your 12 inch PVC. Just like that. And that is your transducer mount. So you have your fish finder mount and your transducer mount. Now let's take it over the kayak and we'll show you how to put it on. Okay. So here's my kayak. I chose to put it on the left side of the kayak. And it's pretty simple. You just take your toilet bolt there and it goes in the track and you just slot it where you want it and twist. Twist until it tightens down. Just like that. And your mount is good to go. And the same thing with your transducer mount. Put it in the track. And twist. To tighten it down. And once you get it tight, you're good to go. Now this folds down to drop your transducer in the water folds back up to keep it out of the way now all I need to do is paint it and we'll be good to go thanks again guys for watching another video I hope you guys check the next one